Nigeria is a rising star among the Africans that live in the diaspora today. Yes, my people, today we don't show again. Yes, today we want to talk about Nigeria as a country. Let's talk about Nigeria. Hmm. Nigeria. Nigeria is one country that is full of fun. Nigeria is one beautiful country that I've never seen a replica of in my entire travel journey till date. Nigeria is a place blessed with nature, is green, natural vegetation, and lovely people. Nigeria people are among the best in the world. When you're talking about happy people, people who are positive about themselves, people who have the right vibes to actually get things done in their own way. And the reason why we are talking about Nigeria today is because of the negative image, the name Nigeria we have in other parts of the world. If you take Africa as an example, you will find out that other nationals they intentionally beef an average Nigerian for nothing. Nigeria is a country that is having above 200 million people in population. You can compare that to a country that is just 12 million, 50 million, or even 100 million. Nigeria as a country is 10 times bigger than some countries in terms of size, and population is seven times, five times or eight times in terms of size and population bigger than so many countries in the world, including some countries in Africa. Nigeria alone can be a combination of some three or four smaller countries in Africa. Therefore, Nigerian population is so vast that a lot of Nigerian citizens have traveled all over the world and they are virtually almost everywhere in the world. But today, I want to talk about the good part of Nigeria and Nigerians at large. Nigeria is a rising star among the Africans that live in the diaspora today. Nigeria is a rising star. Any place you go without finding a Nigeria, run away. The reason why I said you should run away is because Nigerians can practically survive anywhere. But if you don't find one, it means that place is inhabitable. Okay? So when I say Nigeria is a rising star, I will just mention a few and possibly you can drop in your suggestions in the comment section about other areas I did in. And if this is your first time of visiting us in this channel, please kindly do well to subscribe to this channel, hit on the notification button so that next time you'll be the first to get any new upload on this channel. We're also on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube as cleverroy.com. So why I say Nigeria is the rising star in the Africans that live in diaspora basically is because Nigerians are very, very creative. Let's talk about the entertainment sector. Look into the Nollywood. The whole of Africa country watches Nollywood movies on a daily basis. From the east to the north to the west and central Africa and the southern Africa, they watch Nollywood movies. And Nollywood movies have been able to sell the story of Nigeria to the whole world. Nollywood movies are watched in the Western countries from US to UK to Australia to Canada down to the whole of Europe and on daily basis they end up thrilling and entertaining their fans on daily basis. The second to talk about in the entertainment industry is the music. Nigeria was able to define what we call Afrobeat. Before now we got hip hop, R&B and the rest. But Nigeria came up with another specific genre which is called Afrobeat music. And Afrobeat music has taken over Africa today. Now, Nigerians are also among the most educated black race on earth. 
In the diaspora, for example, Nigerians are the most educated blacks that exist in the United States. Nigerians are among the smartest black people on planet Earth. In the UK, for example, there is a family called the Imafidon family. They are the smartest family in the United Kingdom, from the father to the last child. They are the smartest family in the United Kingdom. I'm not saying the smartest black family. The smartest family in the United Kingdom is from the family of the Imafidons and they are Nigerians from Edo State, Nigeria. Nigerians are very hardworking. Anywhere you go, you find them in big offices, taking great positions, both at home and in the diaspora. Nigerians in the United States and in the United Kingdom, for example, have populated the health sector that they have put in a lot of impact in these various countries and they are well recognized. Those in technology, those in engineering and sciences are doing tremendously well in their respective field, both in Nigeria and in the diaspora. Nigerians are the only people who never say no. They are strong and die-hard go-getters. When they go for something, they go for it to the maximum. They never say no to anything. And another wonderful thing I want you to know about is that when you visit Nigeria as a foreigner, say you are from another African country, Nigeria treats you so nice that you won't even believe that you are not in your own country. Nigerians don't really care to stop you and check about IDs and all that. You live so freely. Nigerians are so welcoming. They integrate you as if you're part of the family. In fact, if you're not from Nigeria, you enjoy more in Nigeria because they treat you so nice. They see you as a foreigner, hence, they don't want you to feel hot. So that is one good one and I give that to Nigerians. In Nigeria, there are still some backlogs still today which are affecting Nigeria as a nation. There are some flaws that have impended in the progress of Nigeria as a nation. These are peculiar to so many countries, but the truth be said that Nigeria is still struggling from political struggle till date. Since the inception of independence, it has not been rosy with Nigeria as a country to really get a leader that is going to take them to the promised land as compared to the West. Another issue that is on record is the attitude of the Nigerian police. We still have cases of police brutality or some bad eggs among the police who are not following the requirements in the constitution and as per the acts in place for the management of policing in Nigeria as a country. And the third one I want to talk about is with regards to the rule of law and that is tied to the political circle and the legislation and the judiciary. The rule of law is not fully enforced. The rule of law does not favor the poor at the moment. However, the rich and the influence, they enjoy liberty and immunity while the poor suffers from the deficits of their mistakes. Therefore, I would urge Nigerian citizens to look into these areas and upgrade them but in the overall, Nigerians are very happy people and they are very generous and nice people to be with. I urge you to visit Nigeria one of these days when you're free so you can have a glimpse of what I've just told you about. So, till next time, I'll see you and have a lovely day ahead of you. Thank you.